This is the bald bastard. The savior of the airwaves, the maniacal media messiah, Jesse Mistak, and this is Jesse Mistak says hello. Hello. Well, the trial of former Penn State assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky began on Monday. Sandusky is facing 52 counts of fiddling around with 10 boys over a 15-year period. Prosecutor Joseph McGettigan III labeled Sandusk as a, quote, predatory pedophile in his opening statement. For the defense, attorney Joe Amendola retorted that Sandusky has only love and affection for young people. Amendola said, quote, Jerry Sandusky, in my opinion, loves kids so much he does things that none of us would ever think of doing, like anally raping them. Joe Paterno couldn't be reached for comment, so I guess he'll remain as silent on this issue in death as he was in life. The Chicago's Teachers Union has voted to authorize a strike. Chicago Public School CEO Jean-Claude Bazard feels like they're jumping the gun by voting on the measure before an independent fact finder could issue his recommendations after reviewing the proposals from CPS and the teachers union. The earliest they could strike would be August 17th. The teachers are demanding more pay, smaller classrooms, and four months taxpayer funded paid vacation as opposed to the three months taxpayer funded paid vacation they now receive. Culturally relevant singer and actress Cher has taken to Twitter to carefully construct substantive and informed rebuttals of presidential candidate Mitt Romney's policy positions. When Mitt gives stump speech, look behind him. White people, where are people of color and ethnicity? Gay men and women, there's no room for difference in GOP, she tweeted. In addition to, why does Mitt keep his dollar sign in Cayman's no tax and I keep mine here and pay taxes on it? And the subsequently deleted, if Romney gets elected, I don't know if I can breathe same air as him and his right-wing racist homophobic women-hating teabagger masters. Share. Her wit is always razor sharp, just like the surgeon's knife that butchered her face up. And finally, Everett Lagas, a 47-year-old man, was arrested outside of the Emerald City Strip Club in Murdoch, Florida last week. Lagas repeatedly called 911 after being denied entrance because he brought a kitten along with him. He's charged with misuse of 911 and disorderly intoxication. Apparently, Emerald City takes their shaved pussies only policy fairly seriously. Nice job as always, America's dick. This has been Media Messiah Jesse Mistak and I'll chat at you down the road.